So for the cowl gown, you need three yards of fabric. Three yards of fabric and your yards are measured on the selvage part, this part. So now this is three yards and I folded it into two. So that means I have one and a half yards here and at the back one and a half yards. The folded part at the top here will be my shoulder point. My shoulder point. So now you just fold again into four this way. Fold this way. So I folded, and this is the folded part that we folded into four. So now you're going to measure, you get your, sorry, your vertical measurements. That's from your shoulder to your hip. Mine is 24 plus half for my joining. I put 24 and a half. Then shoulder to your knee. Shoulder to my knee is 39. But because is is i don't want it really tight i don't want it tight at my hip point my knee point so i'll come up by one inch that's 38 always come up by one inch at 38. now we'll come to the shoulder point i'm using three inches sorry i'm using seven inches for my neck width so seven minus one is Six, six divided by two is three. You're going to mark three. And then now you get half of your shoulder measurement. Mine is 14. Half of it is seven. So I'm going to mark seven inches. Now because this cow gown will be open at the sleeve point. So I'm just going to add about three inches allowance to it. Because I don't want my armpit showing so i'm going to just mark three inches allowance at the top there so i'll be connecting from my neck width into this three inches extension as a shoulder slant remember to mark your one inch for the shoulder slant so you slant from your neck width to the three inches extension here and so I'll take this through to this point and cut off that shoulder point. And then my neck length, I want to use 4 inches. So I'm going to mark 4 here and then create my curve. This is the free hand method I'm using. So once you're done with the neckline, we'll come to the hip area. Now we're going to be getting the distance between the hip and the knee point. Get the measurements there. Here I have 13 and a half. So I'm going to divide that into two and mark the middle point. 13 and a half divided by two is six three quarter. You mark that here, six three quarter. Now on the knee point, on the knee, I'm going to be marking the quarter of my hip circumference. My hip circumference is 40. That's divided by 4. The quarter is 10. I'll mark 10. Now, because I don't want this tight, I want it free. I'm going to be adding ease of 3 inches allowance. 3 inches ease. I've marked that here. And also at the M line. Whatever you mark on the knee point is what you put at the M line. Here I have 13. So I'm going to also put 13 here. So now I'll take my ruler to connect the M line to the hip area. You connect that together. Now look at this. I'm going to be creating a curve from here. Here. I'm going to take a curve down to the to the side of my dress. It's a freehand method, so you can modify it anyhow you want. You can create a curve or a slant. That's it. 
now look at this at the top here this is going to drop down on the dress so that it can form a cow on the hip area so you're going to measure nine inches from the top of your shoulder downwards you need to measure nine inches if you want it really open you can measure 11 but i'm using just nine i don't want it too open so i'm going to just curve this upward you can cut off any excess if you feel this is too big but this is just the technique of your cow that's the outcome of the cutting so now when we mark nine inches you're going to just notch it there you're going to notch it there so that by the time we're sewing we'll be sewing from this notched part down to the m line so the first thing to do now is to open up your dress i've opened up my dress so you should trim off the selvage part see trim off the selvage part because it's not neat so now i'll sew my shoulders with half an inch now your sewing should stop at the notched part. That's the three inches extension I put after my shoulder. You're going to stop your sewing half inch there. You stop your sewing half inch. After sewing the shoulders, then I'm going to turn my neckline with the bias strip. So the first thing I've done to sew is my shoulders. You sew your shoulders with half an inch from the neck width down to the three is ex three inches extension after your shoulder. You mark, you sew that. Then once you're done, you turn the neckline with your bias strip. You turn the neckline with bias strip. Now, so now we come to the side, to the side. Remember, we marked nine inches from the top of the of the dress so you're going to now sew half an inch from the from the nine inches here from that notched part you sew half inch all the way to the m line you're going to sew half inch on both sides all the way to the down part so you open up the seams that's the sides that you've sewn and then you give it a good press you open up your seam and you iron so after ironing now you see the opening this opening so you're going to fold this into the wrong side you just fold tiny bits like quarter and quarter that's half an inch and you're going to sew it round like this when you come here to you also fold in and you end it here then you open this side too you fold it in round we will do that for the other side of the shoulder too so after you've sewn that side you just go straight to the M line you can see the shape of one side that's the cow that is going to give us that effect you go to the M line this is the lower part of the dress and then you just fold in one inch you're going to sew one inch round and that's all about your dress so another way to make your cowl if you don't want that curve you can just slant it from the knee point into that sleeve area that's nine inches sleeve. you can see that I have also made that variation here just in case you don't want the curved part you can slant it this way and cut off this excess it's going to also fall as a cow dress so here is the finished look of your cow gown you can see the sides so you're going to look at the way it is so you're going to arrange this cow into this block like this 
we just tuck it in to give you the layers you can see how it's forming there so i look forward to seeing your practicals thank you